Hey everybody, in this video, we're showing a monopoly making profit. Now, actually, I really wanna broaden this out just a little bit. What we're really basically doing is showing any firm that has market power making profit. So understand monopolistic competition and monopoly, they're just about the exact same because in both situations, the firm faces a downward sloping demand curve. That's right, the firm faces a downward sloping demand curve. In both situations, whether you're talking about monopoly or monopolistic competition, the firm is the market, the market is the firm, okay? And why? Because in both situations, the firm has some monopoly power. In monopolistic competition, they have a small bit of monopoly power. And what I mean by that is they're making a particular good nobody else can make, but there's a lot of close substitutes. That's monopolistic competition. Monopoly is a situation that they're making a good that there's no close substitutes. But in both situations, again, they're making a unique product. They have monopoly power, i.e. market power. It could be monopolistic competition or monopoly. So that's what we're doing is we're showing a firm that has market power making or, or making profits. Yes, sorry, not hard to say. A firm with market power making profits. So let's get to it. What you see right off the bat is I've got the big three. The big three curves are MC, MR, and demand. The key being MC and MR are the key to output. Once I have an output, I can find price by heading to my demand curve. I'll walk you through that in just a second. The other thing I want you to understand is I am gonna need my fourth curve, okay? We like to talk about the big three, the big four, and the big five. The big three are MC, MC, MR, and demand. That's always true. The fourth one is ATC. You need ATC to show profit or loss. The fifth one, which isn't going to come into play at all here, is if you have losses, you need maybe the ABC curves to decide whether or not you're going to shut down or continue to operate in the short run. Okay, with that said, again, I got my big three. That gives me my P and Q. Let's go ahead and locate them on the graph. I get my output for MCMR intersection. That's right there, okay? Produce all goods for which MR exceeds MC. Right, did that kind of fact produce all goods for which MR exceeds MC. Now that I know my output, I want to find the max that the firm can, the maximum price the firm can charge to sell this level of output. And what tells me that is the demand curve. The demand curve shows me the maximum price they can charge to sell this level of output. So they want to sell this level of output, head right up to the demand curve. This would be the maximum price that they can charge. Remember, we're assuming no price discrimination because you can see that demand and MR are split from each other. Anytime you see demand and MR split, we're assuming no price discrimination. So I've got my P, I've got my Q. Now I need to bring in my ATC because I need to show profit. And again, if you're showing profit or loss or need to find profit or loss, you need to locate that ATC curve or bring in that ATC curve. So I'm going to bring in the ATC and here is the key. I'm going to make sure that ATC is below P at Q. Say it one more time. Make sure that ATC is below P at Q. So here we go. I'm going to go just like that. Now, the important point is, or the dot, important dot, is going to be this dot right there, okay? It's aligned with this Q. At this level of output, that's where I'm hitting the ATC. That is my ATC. Now, I'm going to continue down until I get to the MC curve. And once I get to the MC curve, I'm going up because MC intersects the ADC at the ATC's minimum. Not so important for this particular video. What's important here again is that ATC was below P at that Q. Okay, see that dot and that dot? That's the price, that's the ATC. Now, the difference between P and ATC is the per unit profit. If you wanna find the total profit, you need all the units produced. And so the total profit is gonna be that box right there. That's going to be our total profit, right? For every good that is produced, we're making this per unit profit for every single good produced. We get that rectangle right there. That's a monopoly making profit. Big thing to understand is you always need those big three, and then you're going to need that fourth curve, that ATC. What's the big three? MR and MC and demand. And then you're going to need that ATC curve to actually locate profit or loss. In this situation, it was a profit. Hope that makes sense to you. We'll see you in the next video.